I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just those categories. It's a great way to push yourself to play something you might not normally play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll these dice to determine which seat we're in. I rolled a six, so that means we're going to be player two. I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a flower, a pung of twos, a five, and a pair of sixes. Then we have two, three, five, seven singles, and a pair of ones. So for these tiles, we need to force three, six, nine quints or singles and pairs. Since we have no jokers, I don't think I would try a quint here, even though we have a pung of twos. We have a pair of sixes, which really won't work for a quint. This is a little far removed from our two. So I don't think I would play a quint here. We do have a pair of ones, but there's nothing in mixed suits with two consecutive numbers under quints. I think I would probably try a pair hand in this particular situation or 369. The thing about 369 is we have no 9. I think I would probably try maybe a consecutive pair hand. So let's keep consecutive numbers and try to force a pair hand. There's a pair hand with year tiles. And we do have 2s and 1s. Maybe we could play the big year hand. Last one under singles and pairs. So let's go ahead and pass these 3. We're going to force a pair hand. We got a flower and a two. Maybe we could play one, two, one, two. I would keep the two. We did get a nine. Maybe we could play the big ear hand. Either one, two consecutive, second from the bottom. We don't have any dragons though. Or the big ear hand. Let's pass these three. Actually, you know what? Let's break up the two. So we're not stuck with a pair. Let's pass these three. We got a white dragon and a green dragon. And we have tiles we can pass. So let's look at our options. We could play one, two, one, two consecutive run with dragons or we could play a year hand two zero one nine pair 2019 2019 and two other suits since we're really light with our bams let's give up the green and focus on the year or cracks with dots. Pass these three. We got another flower and a three and an east. I don't think that's going to be helpful in this case. So we have a choice. Pair of flowers. The numbers don't matter. I just think it looks pretty. Pair of flowers, one, two, one, two, dragon. If we can get a one dot and a red dragon. I think what I probably would try here is one, two consecutive run. Pass these three. We got another flower. 
We did get a two and a dragon. Let's focus on these. Four, three, seven. No keepers here. And we have like numbers to pass. I would not pass a flower and I would not pass like numbers. No keepers. So we have five discards, four pair hand, flowers, one, two, one, two, dragon. We need a red dragon and a one dot. So we have five discards, which is not too bad if you consider forcing a hand. So I would say that we were able to get a good start for a singles and pairs hand. I would probably start by discarding these flowers right away because we don't need jokers we're playing a pair hand and then i would discard these and if this hand did not come through we could always play something with like numbers consecutive run or even a year hand in which case we might consider holding the flowers and play a year hand Discard those first, one or the other, depending on how the drawing goes. Roll the four, so we're going to be in north seat. We have 369 or quince. Since we have no jokers, I would play 369 here. We have 3, 9, 3. We do have some dragons. There's, there are two hands with dragons. Third one down and the concealed one with flowers. So let's just keep them and see what comes in. Let's pass these three see if we get some 369 tiles. We have a dragon. No other 369. Let's pass. Oh, let's give up wins. Probably could have done that in the first pass. There's a six. And we can pass these three. There's a red dragon and a nine. Now we only have two tiles to pass. Look at all these dragons. We're forcing a hand though. So let's focus on 369 in dots concealed. Or we could do 369 mixed suit Kongs. Third hand down if we can get flowers. So let's pass these three. Actually, let's break up. Let's break up the pair just in case we have to pass those. Okay, we have red, one, we'll pass, let's pass these three opposites. We got a nine and another nine through six, nine, and we have tiles we can pass. A three and a six. Look at all these three, six, nine tiles. That worked out pretty well. So let's see, we have one tile for optional cross right now. Three, six, nine with dragons is one option. We could maybe play three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs for another option. We could play three, six, six, nine, 
second hand down. We really didn't use that nine with any of these options. Three six nine mixed suit Kongs, three six nine with dragons, or three six six nine second hand down. Let's keep this and pass one blind. Or not one blind, we're gonna negotiate two. Two please. Thank you. Discards. Two discards for 369. So we're really in between. I would not make a decision until we run out of discards. The nice thing about the 369 second hand down is we don't need flowers. Right now we have no flowers. The concealed hand requires a pair of flowers. And the fourth hand down, 369 in mixed suits, it would be 369 nine or three six nine and mixed suit kongs that requires flowers since we don't have flowers i think maybe three six nine second hand down probably has the best potential i still wouldn't pick a hand until i ran out of discards though because if we get a flower i'm kind of thinking three six nine with the dragons looks good we have that gap though I think that was pretty good for 369. Lots of potential. Get rid of these discards and then pick a hand. This time we're going to be player four since I rolled an eight. Quince. Let's hope for jokers. No jokers. We do have two multiples though, ones and sixes. Maybe we could play the quint with sixes. Hold this for joker bait. We have plenty of discards so that we can maybe keep that. There's also a potential for consecutive. We have a white dragon. There is a consecutive quint. The first one, and actually the third one, if we can get the right dragon. Let's keep the eight and see if that comes in. Maybe even the four. We could do four, five, six, or six, seven, eight. So let's discard these three. See if we can make a quint work. We're looking for sixes. We did get a two here. One, two, dragon. Consecutive quint with the corresponding dragon. Let's pass these three. We did get another dragon, but it does not correspond at all. So I would give it up. Okay, we've got a keeper here, a one. I'm thinking one, two, one, two, three. Use this for joker bait now, because we have a big multiple. We did pick up a six, seven, eight, but we gave up the dragon. Let's pass these three. Five, not helpful. We do have a five, but I don't think that's going to help. Let's pass these three. There's a flower. If we get winds, maybe we could play ones with winds. We did pick up four, five, six.
this is the strongest. So let's break this up. There's another flower and an east. I think I would focus on flowers, east, ones. I would hold these for a fallback to consecutive run. Fifth hand down. If the quint doesn't come in, we got to have jokers in here. Let's pass these three for optional. No keepers. We have joker bait though, and a plan B. One, two, dragon. But here we have no gaps. All we need are jokers and build up. For a quint with no jokers, my signature move. If you find that you play the same hands over and over again, try practicing with Charleston Force. It is a great way to force yourself to play hands that you might not normally think about, kind of like a quint with no jokers, my signature move. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.